What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and another video on the BMW today. So then in this video, real quick, I am going to be replacing my ABS sensor, also known as a speed sensor or a range of other names as well. And basically the reason I'm going to be replacing it is because when I had to angle grind the nuts off, to replace my trap rod ends. I basically uh, managed to somehow cut through uh, my existing um, ABS uh, sensor cable. Luckily enough, I actually have some spares. I broke this exact car down into parts uh, a couple of years ago, so I have a lot of spare parts. And uh, luckily this was one of them. So I'm pretty sure this fits. It should be a front um, sensor, this one. Uh, so let's get outside, shut the car up, get the wheel off, and uh, let's have a look what we're working with. Oh, before we do that, it is to be noted that there is a few error codes that have appeared as well. So it'll just be interesting to see if they're still there after we have installed the new sensor. So let's put the ignition on. And you'll see them pop up. So there is the first one, which is driving stability. Uh, the next one is, oh, let's just go into them actually, flat tire monitor as well. Uh, should be able to see them all here. So we go into check control. Okay, yeah, so driving stability, that's the ABS uh, issue. And then the other is the flat tire monitor. So I'm guessing that both of these are linked um, through the one uh, speed sensor cable. So yeah, we uh, should hopefully uh, resurrect them and hopefully they disappear when I fit the new sensor. Um, but obviously time will tell and uh, we'll see how we're looking once we fit the new one. Okay then, so we have the car in the air. Obviously wheel is off and the ABS sensor is this cable right here. That's what it looks like on the back. It's just uh, one bolt holding it into the hub. This cable runs along here, attaches onto this bracket right there, it then attaches onto this bracket right here, is it? That's no, actually this cable at the back. So it's this one runs there and then goes into that box where it plugs in. So we need to get this bolt out, unplug it from the brackets and uh, open this box up and then see where it plugs in. I'll spray some soapy water on there just to make it slide out the bracket easier. Yeah. Let's take this bolt out, looks like a, oh, that's actually a, I'm going to say six millimeter Allen key bolt. Is it a six millimeter? No, it's smaller than that. Five maybe? It seems to be a five millimeter. That's the bolt out. Should just pull it out of the hub now, but oh, actually came out a whole lot easier than what I thought. It's pretty dirty though, which uh, you could probably expect, but yeah, that's it out now. Just gonna untangle this, pull it through. There we go. So we are open. Pull the actual connector out. And we just need to unplug this then. Just two tabs. So one tab, is it? That's just that one tab. It's gonna be tight though. There we go. Is that unplugged? Now this should just pull out now. And this is the old sensor removed. Just gonna put it next to the newer one and uh, see if we have a match. 
Okay then, so as you can see the ends are exactly the same and uh, they look pretty much identical. The only difference that I could think of is that, you know, one could be a rear one, but I'm pretty sure on the rear one, the uh, sensor part itself at the end, that's slightly longer, but these, uh, these both match, so should be good to go with this one. Okay then, so first things first with the new one, let's uh, go ahead and plug it in. Back in there. Okay, then, so let's just make sure we've put it in those brackets. So that's that one in. Let's come around here. It goes in. We get the bolt in now. Okay, then, so job is done. We're all hooked back up, we're all plugged back in. Let's get the wheel on, let's get the uh, car on the ground, and then see how we're looking in terms of errors. Okay, so wheel is on, car is back on the ground. Now for the moment of truth. Okay, so we have a fuel light on, which we already knew about. Let's check for any error messages. And no, that's it. We'll take for a test drive, uh, see if there uh, is going to be any that pop up but we're looking uh, pretty good at the moment i've got my um, flat tire monitor active again which obviously wasn't before but yeah we're looking good so far like i said we'll take for a test drive and then see if we still have no more errors okay then so just took it for a test drive and there is no errors now no errors on the dash whatsoever and just check to see if my cruise control worked and it does in fact work now obviously when you have a faulty abs or speed sensor then it means that your uh, cruise control will not work you know until you fix the problem obviously you fix the problem now and the cruise control does work so yeah that's a, a job well done Okay then, so another little job done on the BMW. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something. And um, yeah, I'm just happy that my car is running sweet now with no codes. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, because I've got a whole load more videos to come on this car. You know, So if you want to look forward to them, go ahead and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.